Hello, friends. Thanks so much for tuning in to Rescott Creative today. I have Courtney Woodward here to talk to us about her new book, Family Dynamics, which I'm not going to lie. The moment I saw it online, I thought, this is everything I love. It's the string family. It's talking about family. It's music fiction. So I just bought it immediately. And right away, it was like, hey, Courtney, can you come <laughs> and join me? Because I want to hear all about it. So thanks for being here. Thanks. Thanks for having me, Ashley. I'm excited to, to talk to you. Yes. Well, can you tell us a little bit about your background as a musician and what kind of brought you to this place? Yeah, absolutely. So I was a, uh, gosh, I started piano when I was in third grade. So music has kind of always been a part of my life. Um, and so then, you know, as I progressed throughout school, I was in the band classes and the music theory classes and, you know, taking private lessons with piano and flute. Um, I be was it really all started as far as wanting to be a teacher was when I became drum major of my high school marching band. I was really in the thick of it and it was, it gave me a chance to really teach and I just loved it. I loved every bit of it. Um, so then, you know, once I was in college, uh, went through that and I started teaching high school right outside of college. So I was, you know, the 22 year old teaching the 18 year olds. Yes. Um, I really, yeah, I, so I had that happen too. It's tricky. Yes. It it was so fun. It was so fun, but you definitely have to like show your, you know, show what you can do with those, with the older kids. Cause they're going, wait a second, you're only a couple years older than me. Um, so yeah, so I did that for seven years. Um, and I was teaching marching band and doing, you know, conducting the pit orchestras and concert band and percussion and music theory and all the things basically living <laughs> so at the school. So busy. Yeah. Um, uh, but having a great time. Um, and some of those kids, you know, those students who are all parents now, basically, you know, they, they were some of my, my favorite students and we still keep in touch. And so that was a really sweet time. And I became a mom. Um, so once I had my, my first child, my son, it was time to kind of step back a little bit and have time to be a mom. Um, so that's when I started teaching orchestra. And I taught orchestra and uh, piano and guitar at the middle school level for eight years. Um, so that's why you're seeing the violin, you know, prominence uh, in yeah. the book as the main character, because it was just such a such a fun transition for me to start teaching orchestra um, and such a fun age level, too. So, yeah, so that's my background. It was 15 years in the classroom. Um, it's been about two years, almost two years that I've been outside of the classroom, um, running my own business and starting, you know, writing books. Yes. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> it's cracking me up, though, that you're you're stepping back was going into middle school orchestra. I think that that shows you must have been doing really a lot before that, because I think most people would find even <laughs> stepping into teaching middle school orchestra a challenge. So that's yes, incredible. yes, it definitely was. But and, but it was also closer to home. Um, so that helped a lot. And uh, my husband actually taught at the same school. He was the band director there. So it was really a, just a fun situation. Um, and with in the, then. Yes, yes. Um, so it was it was really fun and just getting into the orchestra scene and the orchestra world was a blast. Oh, cool. Well, yeah, yeah. is that kind of what brought you to writing then the family dynamics with the, the yes. string family? And then tell us a little bit how you take us through the different instrument families throughout the book. Yeah. So uh, the fun thing was is a couple of years ago, this is a couple of years ago that I came up with this idea and it popped into my head um in the middle of class you know we were we were in rehearsal and we had a little bit of a break and you know I'm one to chat so there was there was Me too. just chatting and and conversating with the kids you know during a break and um you know it just popped into my head because I had always found that my orchestra kids um and it was a cool perspective to being a band kid growing up but the orchestra kids right. always kind of felt a little different or a little ostracized or a little you know um like they weren't as cool as the chorus or the band. And so that was always my, you know, I was striving to make it equal. It's, a, it's an equal Thank or just you. a music department. You know, it doesn't matter what instrument you play. Um, the, you know, there shouldn't be a stigma to what instrument you're playing. We're all making music, right? Exactly. Exactly. So I wanted the main character to be a, a string instrument and a string, the string family, but, you know, I just popped into my head going, okay, well, how can we introduce all the instruments you know, and we can have an instrument that's going around and kind of getting lost, but needing all the other instruments. Yes. And they're realizing that even though they're different, 
they can still come together and they're all equal and they may look, they, they may sound different, but uh, they can all come together and create music. So that kind of popped into my head based on that idea. And then it just kind of flourished. I rushed home and scribbled a whole lot of notes and the story kind of on some computer paper. And then it just sat on my piano for a couple of years because, you know, as teachers, you're just busy. <laughs> yes, you have a so, lot of balls in the air. And <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. So a teacher and a mom, it was just kind of like, okay, I've done this. Now it's going to sit on the side until I have time. So, yes. um, so yeah. And now that I'm, you know, not within the classroom, this story is kind of my way to be in the classroom still, because yeah. I, I still have the, you know, the desire to teach music education. I still think it's so important and essential. Um, and I want the world to, you know, to see what us music teachers do and realize that it's not just this extracurricular thing. It can really be a core subject. So, you know, but this is my new way of being in the, in the classroom. And I think it's an incredible way because you can reach so many people, even in places right. that you physically can't be, but you can reach them through your story, which is just yes. beautiful. Um, I also Thank think it's you. interesting hearing from the, the band perspective that you felt like the strings were kind of left out. And then I've grown up in the oh. string world and in I've written um, music fiction as well. Mine's for yes. a little bit older, but I decided to write some short stories featuring some of the band instruments because I felt like I don't know them as well as the string family. So right. I've mostly taught um, private violin lessons. And then I've also done some foreign language teaching, but I haven't taught like full group band, but I thought, oh, this would be fun <laughs> to explore a few of the other instruments. Uh, through story as well but then in my primary novel I used the string family since that's the one I knew innately um, and I think all of that is so amazing because it's like okay even for the older kids let's talk about this let's make some stories and yeah. and relate music instruments to those stories so it becomes relatable and it becomes something that you know it piques their interest right. uh, and kind of causes curiosity um, but yeah it was it was so nice to kind of show off all the instruments all of them. and yes. make the illustrations, you know, so that way there's a story to go along with what they look like. And then, right. you know, if they see an instrument or go to a concert when they're little, they can say, oh, that's flute. Oh, oh that's violin. That or, yeah, yeah, exactly. That they can identify yes. it. And I think that's, yeah, critical that we're already educating them, even from these young ages, that they can already yes. I, I hopefully identify with one of them. What, it doesn't matter which one, but as exactly. long as they can find one of these instruments that they, they feel that connection and then coming together as orchestra or band or choir and feeling how that, yeah. how everyone's, um, has an important role to play. I love how you did that. Thank you. And, and the other, you know, there's so many life lessons like within music in general. So that was my main goal, like within the story is to not have music education like sprinkled in and have it be the focus but also just general life lessons you know like everybody looks different everybody right. sounds different exactly. all families look different and sound different and that's okay you can still kind of come together and speak one message or one language you know speak so the same language the universal yeah language. and not to have to compare yourself because you know violence trying to sound like everybody else and it's like well wait yeah. a second you have your own sound so it's okay to be you. <laughs> yes, I love it. I love it. Yeah. And I think it's fun now for us, those of us who are kind of doing a similar goal, but different people have the different age groups, then it's right. so nice that we can inspire whatever age group we feel kind of tied to, um, that we can reach out to these little ones with some of these younger books that really are helpful. And I think that like my children are age three and seven. So this is completely up their alley. They love this. And then oh. I actually had done a um, music book club that was kind of more for my junior high kids uh, yes. during the pandemic. And they really related to the story and just you know, helped kind of bring the music world to life for them. Because I think musicians can feel isolated. Any of the instrumentalists can feel isolated that it's, it is kind of a different world in a certain sense. 100%. And yes. I think they relate to that idea of, oh, there are other people that are like me that are in you know, in the music ensemble, or even if maybe in their own personal community, you know, they're isolated or, it's, you know, during the shutdown, obviously they felt isolated. They could see through the stories. Other people have had these similar musical experiences and really kind of bringing that music life um, into the focus for even non-musicians to see a peek into our lives. 
Yes, absolutely. And like I said, like, you know, from the teacher perspective too, you do kind of in the music world feel like you're on an island, you know? Um, and yes. so I'm sure kids can, can kind of feel the same way, you know, if they're not involved in all the sports, but their, their big thing is music. You know, I, I'm, I want everyone to see, like I said before, just not music is just this extracurricular thing, right. you know, it is an important subject. And um, yes. I think it's so amazing that, you know, there's music books, that we're all creating for the younger age, for the junior high age. You know, I'd love to see mm -hmm. all of these music books come out. So every age level has something to relate to. Exactly. That's, that's one yeah. of my goals for sure. Um, I love it. Yeah. My, my heroine is my heroes are in the college age. So they okay. you know, appeals to college and, and high school students um, because Perfect. it's set in a music school. So where you can have, you know, a lot of different music classes throughout the day, which I, you know, I think is fun. Um, right. But yeah, so seeing that we can have these different ages, I'd love to do children's as well, but you have to get yes. a fabulous illustrator. So tell us more yes. about that side of it too. How did you go about getting your, your illustrator and coming up with the visuals that go with children's books? Um, yeah. So, so two, yeah, thank you. Two, Vu. Like you have to have, if you're going to make a picture book, you have to have good illustrations that are, you know, that really capture someone's and I attention. I saved my life. So. No, me either. <laughs> me either. But like color and just, you know, making the instruments look like instruments, but still have character and still be fun. Yes. That was important to me. So Tu Vu is my illustrator and I'm the power of social media. I was, I knew kind of the idea of the type of, um, illustrations that I liked and it was more of a sketchy um kind of look not perfection because you know all, all musicians we know perfection is just not attainable um yes but uh I I like I love that kind of sketch look um and so I found too on Instagram I started looking her up on her website her portfolio and we just connected she's she's another she's a young mom she has two little sweet girls and um yeah we just connected right away and she's it was she was so wonderful in like finding the details of the instruments, you know, the keys and the mechanisms and the, yes. you know, every little detail. So she was so wonderful in, in making sure that those, those shined through and, but still making them fun and cute and sweet. So right. yeah, she's that. amazing. Such cute, cute characteristics. Does, um, was she a musician as well or? No, no, this was all new. So I think I opened okay. a whole new world to her. For her, <laughs> um, yes. Yeah. So it was a lot of, you know, like uh, it was a lot of teaching. Okay. This is this, that we still need this mechanism. We still need these keys. We still need, you know, this part. Um, so it was a lot of back and forth, but it was such a great team effort and she was so fun to work with. So, um, she knows I'll be calling again. Oh yes. Oh yes. I had fun yeah. doing some of the, well, not me personally doing the art, but like for me, I had, um, uh, my actually my kid's babysitter was an artist and so I had her do a bunch of sketches of it. my characters and so I would write little you know like little words to go along with them and then she would do oh I love it yeah oh and that's one of my cousins is an artist and she was trying to capture some music for one of my other books like how do, yeah how do you kind of capture that essence but in a visual way right and sometimes right. there are some musicians who have the the visual as well I I I'm not one of them. I think that's where we benefit <laughs> from having, you know, working with artists too. That, that's right. Their forte. Yeah, I think that's wonderful. She had such great ideas. And it was also, you know, my vision of, I didn't just want the words to be educational. I wanted the pictures to be educational yes. as well. Um, it's because it, the, honestly, the illustrations say a lot as well that you don't, yes. you don't need to say in words. So, so that was, that was really important to me. And I think uh, she did an amazing job. Yes. Well, tell yes. us a little bit about your kids' experience, if you're willing to. What have they thought sure. having mom uh, writing a book and are they musicians? <laughs> kind of the, the mom side of, of it. I'm always fascinated too, since I'm a mom of yes. littles as well. So it, it was so important to me to include them. So at this point, they're probably tired of the book. Oh, well, we, <laughs> they're very we all get excited tired when about it. Launch, you know? Yeah. <laughs> she, um, they know, you know, the, with their teachers and things like that, they've said it. Oh, my mom wrote a book. So I think they're really proud um, of it. And, but including them in the process, they're actually included in the book. Um, if you look at the end with the full ensemble, the concert master sign, that's their really? handwriting. Really? Oh, that's yeah. So there's cool. lots of little um, sweet connections to my family um, nice. within the illustrations. Oh. Like Miss Marilyn is my first piano teacher who I took oh, private really? lessons from. 
so you know it, there's just little sweet touches that mean a lot to me i'm such a you know i i'm a crier I, you know hallmark commercials make me cry like yes. super sentimental yeah. you know so all those little sweet little things are, are are kind of intertwined throughout the illustrations but um you know they got to see the sketches they got to see how they progress you know i asked their opinions on some things because they're my audience um exactly. so it was so fun and so sweet to have them included. Um, I am currently teaching them piano. So they're learning the the language of music. They're learning how to read it, how to write it, how to um, play it then on the instrument. Um, so that's really fun that I have the time to do that and, you know, keep it sweet and fun for them before they move on into the older ages, which they need to slow down. <laughs> they're growing up too quickly. But um, yeah, it was it was really sweet. And now it feels it feels really special to have this book out there and be this forever thing that maybe they can, you know, they can share with their kids one day and so on and so forth. So that's been really, really special for me. It preserves that musical legacy, I think. Exactly. Exactly. It's very evergreen it, it, feel. You know, I like that about music. It, it you know, especially uh, orchestra music and band music, there is a certain amount of like evergreen that, you know, it doesn't just have to apply to this specific year, but even right. 30 years from now, you know, when their exactly. children are here, they can enjoy it. Yes. And that, that was my goal. And so with, with the rest of them, I, and plus I just want them to see mom, you know, following your dreams, you know, if you have an idea or you have a goal or you have a dream, it's like, okay, make it happen, figure it out, make it happen. So yes. there's just lots of little fun lessons and it's been really fun to have them be a part of it. That's wonderful. Do you plan for a series then? We have to always ask that, you know, at the Oh, yes. Launch. Yes. The Family Dynamics is my hope is a series. Um, I've already got my idea for my next book. I've got a lot of stuff, you know, written down. Um, take us to but, another instrument family or? <laughs> you, you got it. So, you know, with Family Dynamics, I kind of introduced everybody. And so now I can dive more into the specifics of the instrument families. Yeah but also include more, you know, lessons on music, maybe how to read music, how to, you know, little things like that, but also life lessons intertwined. That's my main goal is music sprinkled into life lessons. So, um, and where music is the character, you know, the instruments yes. are the characters. Yeah. You know, that's, like that's the forefront. What I, yeah. I think that's what I related to anyway, was saying that, yes, exactly. the, the music really is the primary character. And right. the, I, I'm calling it the music fiction genre because I want this to actually be considered a legitimate genre, kind of like yes, science fiction yes, is considered a genre. You know, well, it started out with scientists and then they right. were writing, you know, stories based off of kind of their experiences. I want music fiction to be a genre that it's written, yes. you know, largely by fellow musicians where, but in this case, the music is like a lead character. And I think yes. that that's just incredible. So. Well, I'm in. I'm. I'm. I want to team up with you. Like that, we've got to get yeah. more music books out there and more music fiction. And yeah, le, you know, legitimize the whole subject and the whole you know right. idea and the whole world. Like really legitimize it so the arts are are at the forefront. I agree. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on today and yes, joining the music Absolutely. fiction team here. So you'll yes. have to let us know when you have your next one release. I will for it. sure. Hopefully, I'm I'm hoping maybe by the end of the year. So we'll see. Wow. Cross your fingers. That's incredible. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, best of luck. Thank you Thanks so much. Again. Thanks for having me, Ashley. My pleasure.